I was walking from the House building on Capitol Hill to the Capitol, and a man, a white guy, stopped me and told me I could not get into the member's elevator. And, you know, we have uh, pens, and I was going to vote. And he blocked me from getting into the elevator and told me I was not a member of Congress, and it was for members only. I said, sir, I'm a member of Congress. And he, I showed him my pen, and he said, whose pen did you steal? Now, this is an example of what personal racism is. It's false. It's totally made up. Pure fiction. It never happened. We made it up. It's a made-up tale. It's a total fabrication. This one was invented by a writer. It never happened. It's an urban legend that never happened. That's Representative Barbara Lee of California telling a story that I don't think anybody actually believes. I, I wish Caitlin Collins, the anchor there from CNN, had actually asked some follow-up questions and gotten more details so we can discover whether it's true or not. But of course, she didn't do that. More on Caitlin Collins in a minute, but this is outrageous. You know, this is a sitting congresswoman making an accusation against an anonymous man. We don't know his name. We don't know where he works. We don't know what he does. We don't know why he was stopping her from going into an elevator, a congressional elevator. Was he security? Was he Capitol Police? We don't know any of that. She's telling this story for one person and one reason and one reason only. To paint all of America as racist. This is Barbara Lee using this story that cannot be verified to paint all of America, to paint you as systemically racist. And it's despicable. Let's go back to the beginning of this interview. Again, Caitlin Collins, CNN, with Barbara Lee. Barbara Lee, by the way, her one distinguishing vote, the, the only reason why Barbara Lee should be memorable to anyone in America is that after September 11th, when we mobilized our armed forces to go after al-Qaeda in Afghanistan, this is not the Iraq war. This was the direct retaliation to the 9-11 attacks. And President George W. Bush asked for authorization from Congress for military intervention in Afghanistan to go after Osama bin Laden and al-Qaeda. Barbara Lee was the one person to vote no. That's who Barbara Lee is. And now here she is talking about racism on CNN. These are not little kinks, first of all. Racism, institutional racism, is in the DNA of this country. When you look at uh, what has taken place, look at the, our Native Americans, the genocide of Native Americans. When you look at what has taken place as it relates to African Americans, uh, the 250 years plus of enslaving African Americans, and then you look at the disparities now uh, in our community in terms of health care, unemployment, the wealth gap, housing. You can't tell me that systemic racism does not exist. It's not just a little kink. Secondly, you have personal racism, which is hard to address, but I'll give you one little story that shows you why uh, we need to understand that I don't think she really understands racism. I was walking from the House building on Capitol Hill to the Capitol, and a man, a white guy, stopped me and told me I could not get into the member's elevator. And you know, we have uh, pens and I was going to vote. And he blocked me from getting into the elevator and told me I was not a member of Congress and it was for members only. I said, sir, I'm a member of Congress. And he, I showed him my pen and he said, whose pen did you steal? Now this is an example of what personal racism is and how people of color constantly have to deal with this each and every day. But systemic racism is in the policies of this country. And just look at what they're trying to do in terms of eliminating diversity, equity, and inclusion. They're trying to uh, not allow for an equal and level playing field. Uh, and so mm -hmm. it's a very dangerous uh, position that she has. Uh, she's clueless. Well, that's a shame, and I'm sorry that, that you had to deal with that, Congresswoman. Thank you for sharing that with us. I'm sorry you had to deal with that thing that we're just going to assume is true and accept at face value this outrageous, disgusting story of racism that happened on Capitol Hill from somebody who apparently is in authority because he can bar Barbara Lee, a congresswoman, from going into an elevator that's for members only. Uh, I'm really sorry that that happened, and we're not going to ask any more questions about it. We're just going to assume that it's true. Thanks for joining us, Congresswoman. That's some great journalism there. Honestly, I did. 
I, I, I have a few questions. Sorry, Barbara Lee isn't here with us. I'd love to interview her about this. When did this happen exactly? Is this recent? When? when? Do you, did, tell me when it happened. And where did it happen exactly? All you said was you were walking from your congressional building. Was it the Cannon Office building? Was it Longfellow? Where were you walking from? And was this actually in the Capitol building itself? Was this a person, a security guard? Was it a member of the Capitol Police Force? Did you get their name? Did you reprimand them? Did you file a complaint at that time? You are a member of Congress. If you're treated that way, you should actually do something about it. What did you do about it? You're empowered, ma'am. You're not a victim here. What'd you do? Did you file a complaint? Can we get the complaint? Did you get the name of the person? Let me ask you something. If this happened to any person that you know in your life, if they were treated like this and you suspected them of being racist, would you not have gotten more information about it? I know I would have. And I would have encouraged anyone in my life to have gotten more information, to get the person's name, to make a stink out of it. By the way, speaking of making a stink, this is Representative Barbara Lee, rabble-rousing, hate-mongering Democrat from California. Her entire persona is to raise a stink about things. I mean, I mean, here she is using the story to attack Nikki Haley, saying well, Nikki Haley doesn't really know about racism. Let me tell you my story about racism. Does anyone really believe that Barbara Lee wouldn't have immediately made a federal issue out of this if it had really happened? I mean, seriously. Why is this the first we're hearing about it? Barbara Lee would have called a press conference at that moment. Barbara Lee would have sued this guy. I'm sorry. I, it's, it's, I, I wish I could believe it. And if there were a journalist involved in this interview, Caitlin Collins, we would have gotten more information about it so that we would have known and gotten it verified that it was true. Instead, all we got was this. Uh, she's clueless. Well, that's a shame, and I'm sorry that, that you had to deal with that, Congresswoman. Thank you for sharing that with us, and thanks. I am so sorry that this happened to you. May I apologize to you on behalf of all white racists? Wow, Kaylin, that's that's some good stuff. Good job, CNN, by the way. Great hire there. Uh, we posted this video at Town Hall, uh, at Town Hall's X feed, by the way, and one of our like, great followers there actually thinks they found the culprits. Wh which one of these two was the white guy there, Congresswoman Lee? Or should we call you Congresswoman Jussie? It's outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. But, uh, you know, that's what you get with Congresswoman like Barbara Lee.